six, nine, Hello there YouTube, today we have another video about the Creality's uh, Energy V2 and the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon and what is this video about you might say? Okay, it's a comparison. So many comparisons between this X1 Carbon and many other printers, I know, but can the Ender Tree V2 with some upgrades onto the system itself like a Sprite Extruder Pro a water cooling kit which will not really bring any anything extra to the printer I know but it has also a clipper on it and it's printing at 120 millimeters per second so we're going to uh, compare this industry v2 with some upgrades on it to the uh, bamboo x1 carbon as you can see here this video is brought to you by PCBWay your one stop for all PCB needs we can design prototype and build the boards your business requires at a price you can afford. Right now, four and six layer PCB costs have been reduced by 20%. The highest quality is matched by a quick order process and a 99% on-time delivery. The best value, low minimum orders and a fast turnaround. PCBWay.com What I'm really uh, keen about is the print quality to be honest. If the print quality between these two like similar then okay then you can have actually two Ender Tree V2s because this one prints in about 35 minutes I'm afraid let me double check and the bamboo is going to print the same thing in 16 minutes it says the total printing time well it has already started as you can see this is just always has been like very nice to see what bamboo is actually doing when it's printing these accelerations that it's doing is just crazy um, I'm afraid it's not gonna be fast enough to catch up to this it might but I'm afraid not um, just can you see the difference in printing look this looks a bit like slow motion if you compare it to this You can actually see the model growing in the Bamboo X1 Carbon and that is really nice. To be honest guys, if you can afford it, just get a Bamboo X1 and you know, you will have a very nice printing experience, that is for sure. But if you're like a beginner and you don't have much money to spend on it, you're not sure if you want to, um, you know, get into 3D printing, well, get an Ender 3 uh, V2 because that is a very nice printer too for the starter. And you know you have so much upgrades on it you can do actually my Ender Tree V2 looks cooler in my opinion it's just like more of a well it's a maker's printer and this one is just a printer that you could put in an office or something but it's really sleek but yeah it has its um, downsides the, end of, uh, the bamboo x1 carbon to be honest it's the noise the, the noise you're hearing is actually from this printer let's close it down for a second here and listen to this beauty because you can almost not hear it silent printing this is it the ender tree v2 is perfect for printing in in an environment where you are you want to be you know not having too much of a background noise very nice printing indeed but this one you can put in inside of a place a, a stockage uh, room or something and then it will print it will make noise and nobody will be you know having difficulties with the with the noise levels but me in the other hand I still prefer if you compare it to this printer um, the noise levels I would still go for the industry v2 for sure because I built this printer and Noctuas that I've been using are very quiet and printing on these speed levels it's still it copes with it because some people say Noctuas are not good enough maybe true but if you're printing very fast and uh, then I think then it the bl a blower fan will just make it much better and also guys if you are following my channel you might know that this um, water cooling uh, block has been leaking on me like twice I had a spare part I put it on there and it started leaking again after two prints or something two or three prints 
Now, after we've fixed it in another video, you can you can just scroll uh, in my videos and find it. In another video, we fixed it, and as far as I can see, uh, it's not no longer leaking, and it's been printing for a while now. I think five prints, no no leaking whatsoever. Uh, that is really nice. So, if you guys want a permanent solution on the leaking problem of the uh, uh, of the um, water cooling kit from Creality, then you might want to follow that video. Um, and if you do, you might just, you know, get your problem fixed. So I'll just stop the uh, video now, guys, so that we can just compare the end results, because I'm really excited. Uh, maybe Creality's print quality will match it. Maybe it won't, but we'll just see, wait and see. So guys, both of them are finished. And now let me just show you guys how long it took on the Ender 3 V2, it took about 30 minutes. So, what about the uh, Carbon X1? It took around 16 minutes. So, we're just now going to compare these two prints so that we can have a little bit better feeling of what these printers are, you know, getting out of quality. So, this was the brim that I, you know, had on the and the 3v2 so that we can compare it a better on a better scale so guys here we have it um, these two have been printed um, and if you look carefully well it is the same brand of filament but this one is a bit shiny this one isn't and this also has been printed on a higher temperature than this one this is just basic uh, on uh, uh, the x1 carbon just prints on higher temperature I do see a flow on the Ender 3 V2 print so and the other on the top bit I think uh, the Carbon X1 did a better job here than the Ender 3 V2 it has a little gaps but that's like the slicer problem and on this side you can also see there is some ringing a little bit on the X1 Carbon but not as much as other prints and you see some ringing as well on this here I don't know if you can see it that's just a speed problem and you have it less on the Ender 3 V2 because of the speed uh, but in the other hand I think these are comparable in print quality apart from this last bit so anyways guys you can see, you can actually make up your own mind whether you're gonna get like three or four or five Ender 3 V2s or just one um, X1 carbon which is basically the same price um, well it <laughs> depends if you get it like stock yeah it is but if you get it like like mine is here you will pay a bit more yeah you you will pay uh, almost like double per printer and if you pay double like let's say 500 for our Ender 3 V2 then it's almost like two and a half Ender 3 V2s will mod it once compared to the X1 Carbon so if you would ask me I would get the X1 Carbon it's just a better machine in my opinion it's just a uh, well newer technology faster I'm not gonna say more reliable because I had some issues with um, uh, with my energy well with my X1 Carbon and that's why I'm not gonna say it's a more reliable machine So guys, this is a print that I have done with my uh, X1 Carbon and as you can see it has come really nice out of the printer. So you have this top layer which is about 2 hours to print by the way and all of these are 2 hours prints, so 2 4 hours and this one is 6, this is, if I can get it out, 8 and this one with it is 10 hours of printing of these. And then other than that you have this top layer which is also two hours these are 20 minutes these latches and the bottom bit is about seven hours so seven nine and then ten is 19 hours print 
but it's a really nice print to be honest guys it has two colors and everything so you just slide it it just falls into place as you can see and this is a third one some of them you have to help a little bit here we go and this is the last bit you go here and then it just close you have to, it's a little bit fiddling here we go it is pretty heavy I think I almost used one uh, roll of filament on the black one oh, it's gray black but it came out really nice look really heavy and really rigid you can put in a bolt or whatever inside of it and this kind of prints X1 carbon really an awesome machine um, I can't imagine to do those prints on my Ender 3 V2 to be honest because it might take days, <laughs> it might take days and I am not uh, the person that will wait that long for something like this to be printed but for smaller bits your X1 Carbon is busy and you need a small bit or something, small fast print you can go to your Ender 3 V2 if you are having a, a print farm with the Enders well yeah you, you can keep continue doing that but in my opinion the best printer at this stage, at this time it's the X1 Carbon. Anyways guys, I hope you have seen the comparison between these uh, XYZ cubes. Um, and you can see that they are kind of similar. But one is like the double the time than the other. And I think if you go for bigger prints, uh, it becomes even larger. That uh, print time uh, deviation between these two printers. So guys, hit the thumbs up if you liked the video, hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye!